Bentley Continental GT has long been a standout in the dwindling category of grand, continent-crossing, two-door coupes. As Bentley's second bestseller, the mark is investing in a new fourth generation of the GT line, which originally launched in 2003. We recently had an early drive of the 2025 Continental GT Speed. Bentley's updates are driven by its goal to own the luxury hybrid space and to electrify its entire lineup by the end of this year. Gen 4 2.2 Although the fourth-generation 2025 Bentley Continental GT is heavily camouflaged until its official reveal in late June, it's evident that the design represents more of a mid-cycle refresh than a completely new model, similar to the transition between the first two generations. The development team emphasizes that it features a new architecture, even though the fundamental structure remains largely unchanged. The electrical architecture, however, is entirely new, justifying the next step in the generation timeline. V8 Hybrid F12 A significant part of the new architecture includes orange cabling connecting a 25.9 kWh usable battery pack to a 188 horsepower 332 LB FT permanent magnet electric motor housed within the 8-speed dual-clutch transmission. This setup, managed by Powertrain Electronics, provides an electric range of approximately 50 miles on the European WLTP cycle. These specifications closely mirror those of Porsche's recently updated Panamera e-hybrid models. Hotter, cleaner awesome. The 2025 Bentley Continental GT Speed's combustion engine has been revamped to comply with the upcoming Euro 7 regulations. Following Porsche's example, Single-scroll turbos have replaced twin-scroll units due to their greater heat tolerance, which allows them to survive without the cooling effect of fuel enrichment that the new regulations essentially prohibit. Consequently, the V8's output has increased by 50 horsepower and 22 lbft of torque, bringing it to 591 horsepower and 590 lbft, significantly surpassing the Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid's 512 horsepower and 568 lbft. The 8-speed Porsche PDK transmission, largely shared and carried over, is uniquely tuned for Bentley's distinct driving style. With the assistance of the hybrid motor, this new powertrain generates a total of 771 horsepower and 738 lbft, outstripping Porsche's 671 horsepower and 686 lbft. These figures surpass those of every other production Bentley, including the soon-to-be-retired Twin Turbo W12. The electrification adds approximately 400 pounds to the weight of the outgoing 4.0-liter model, making it about 200 pounds heavier than the W12 variant. This should reduce the weight-to-power ratio to around 6.8 to 7.2 pounds per horsepower. Third-generation cars we've tested range from 8.0 to 9.0, enabling Bentley to predict a 0.3-second decrease in 0 to 60 mph times. Wet Test Drive we traveled to Barcelona to test camouflage prototypes of the fourth-generation 2025 Bentley Continental GT on the stunning, fast, and hilly 2.6-mile circuit park motor Castelloli. Despite a biblical downpour during the product presentation, the skies cleared during lunch. However, just as we donned our helmets and prepared for our four laps, the rain returned. This shorter burst of rain only added to the excitement of our drive. Superior Performance in a Grand Tour The 2025 Bentley Continental GT Speed, now a hybrid, showcases immense capabilities as a Grand Tour. Advances in tire tread compounds and construction techniques have resulted in lower rolling resistance and better lateral grip in both wet and dry conditions. Pushing its limits on dry surfaces requires high speeds and considerable bravery, while a damp surface brings these limits down to more manageable levels. Starting in Bentley mode, a noticeable detent in the accelerator marks the point where the engine kicks in, allowing for EV mode up to nearly triple-digit speeds with a light foot. As speed increases, stability control intervention diminishes through the modes. Bentley mode, prioritizing EV operation, comfort, sport, and dynamic. By the third lap, it's clear when the rear tires begin to lose traction, progressively shifting torque to the front. This enables more throttle application and maintains graceful small-angle drifts. As we navigate mid-corner rivulets of runoff, the steering effort lightens, yet the surface dries enough to reveal the car's elevated peak grip and improved handling neutrality. 
Mounting the battery and power electronics in the rear has shifted the weight distribution from 5545 front slash rear to approximately 5347, allowing the AWD system to route more torque to the rear. Additionally, the 48-volt active anti-roll bars provide a slight bias toward rear roll resistance. With skillful driving and sportier modes, owners will rarely experience understeer. Remarkable for a car of this weight. Smoother, quieter ride? As these prototypes were not road legal for non-employees, we couldn't assess the impact of the new two-valve dampers and revised suspension bushings on real-world ride quality. However, the front longitudinal compliance bushings, for new rear link bushings, and new rear subframe mount isolation bushings have all been tuned to improve bump compliance and insulate the cabin from road noise. The standard 22-inch tires on the Continental GT Speed feature sidewall construction for a smoother ride and foam liners to reduce sound transmission, though the hiss of wet pavement prevented us from evaluating their effectiveness. Noise levels are particularly important in a luxury car with a significant all-electric range. The semi-active dampers, similar to those used by Porsche, represent an upgrade from the previous single-valve units. Two valves enable independent, continuously variable control of jounce and rebound, providing greater compliance on initial impacts and better damping of subsequent body motions. Comfort mode prioritizes a smooth ride over vertical inputs without causing motion sickness, while sportier modes offer increased control. Bentley chose not to use Porsche's 48-volt active ride system, which excels in controlling pitch, dive, and roll but was deemed too robust for the Continental's grand touring focus, according to Marcus Thiel, Director of Research and Development for Vehicle Motion. When and how much? Orders are now open for the fourth generation, or 2.2, if you prefer, 2025 Bentley Continental GT, set to enhance the art of continent crossing when it arrives at the end of 2024. The GT Speed variant, launching first, is expected to be priced near $300,000, with its convertible GTC version commanding 10% more. More affordable Azure spec variants of both models will follow, along with a lower-priced V6 hybrid model, positioned slightly above the Porsche Panamera 4SE hybrid. 2025 Bentley Continental GT Speed Prototype, a powerful leap forward. The 2025 Bentley Continental GT Speed Prototype is generating a lot of buzz, and for good reason. Early reviews suggest this hybrid iteration of Bentley's Grand Tourer is a successful marriage of exhilarating performance and luxurious comfort. Hybrid Muscle One of the biggest changes is the addition of a hybrid powertrain. While specific details are still under wraps, reviewers at Car and Driver 2 claim a blistering 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 3.1 seconds, a significant improvement over the outgoing model. This ferocious acceleration comes despite the car's hefty weight, thanks in part to a powerful electric motor and a new, advanced V8 engine. Surprisingly agile. Despite its size, reviewers at Drive 4 were impressed with the handling. The new all-wheel steering system and improved weight distribution are said to endow the car with surprising nimbleness, even on twisty roads. This agility is further enhanced by Bentley's dynamic ride technology, which keeps the car stable and composed during spirited driving.